hello so in this video i'll be showing you how to implement in-app purchases subscriptions into your app in an easy way right so i've already prepared the codes for you if you have an existing application this is the right video for you then what you need to do is just follow me along uh i've prepared a demo for this uh, series you can just uh look in the video description you can go through it but I will show you now how the app is going to look like at the end of the day, right? So, this is the splash screen. Then this one is going to be our main activity. On our main activity, we have got three buttons. So, when you click subscriptions, then you'll be taken to the subscription activity where this, uh, subs this activity is going to load these products right i've got three products here the monthly weekly and yearly products then we have got a button of restore um, purchases for an example if a user uh, they own a subscription into your app right they can just come to this subscription and click reload or restore purchases then the app is going to restore that subscription back to the user um, jumping into the code so the first thing that we need to do is um, follow this step right follow this step we have got uh, eight steps here to accomplish this right so open up your project so if you have an existing project right you can just open your existing project and follow me so i will go back to the repository the first thing that i need to do is to add the billing library right just copy these four lines of code go back to your android studio project then paste that sync the project wait for it to sync in the meantime while it's still syncing you can just copy this um, permission and paste it inside your manifest file go to your manifest file and paste it there give it the permission to use this billing uh, google library then now we are done with these two files close close then now step two is to initialize the billing um, purchase updated uh, listener right so where do you initialize this you need to initialize this on create method so copy this code of line then go to the activity where you want to show the product uh, for me i'm showing the product under subscriptions right so i need to go on create then paste it there right so now we have a, an error there that says establish um, connection so this one is just a method so we need to carry on with our steps don't worry about the errors we'll fix them all scroll down then paste this is the establish connection is this method right here right so now we need to implement our show products uh, a method then scroll down copy this line of code then paste it here then now on show products this is our immutable list right it's more like an array but it is in a form of uh, um, how can I put this but uh, this is what Google play console they want us to use immutable list right so inside the immutable list you'll need to put your products like this you need to put your products like that so for an example i want to add a fourth product right so i'll just copy this code put a comma there then put this line of code then i need to go to my Google Play Console then copy the app 
so as you can see this is my app right uh, if you can go back to the manifest file you can see that this is the same package name if you can go to the build gradle this is gonna be the same package name as this one right so if you are testing your app then you don't see the products into your your application it means that you didn't configure um, the testing um, the testing account so to testing to set up your testing device go and check my video in the video description uh, uh, i've shown how to do that so now i go to my subscriptions i scroll down and then i look for the uh the product id this is the product id i go back to my uh list of products then i put the product id like that right so you don't have to worry about um the the, the what the interface here don't don't have to worry about this interface here this one you don't just you need to add the product so a, a, a new product it will be listed here automatically right so we are done with our show products available to buy then now we need to scroll down to launch purchase flow copy that and then scroll down paste the code don't worry about these errors we'll fix them in a minute right i will show you how to fix this quickly then go back and copy process purchases paste it here scroll down again then now you need to handle pending uh, transactions you need to copy this method then paste it there so yes so this one this method is going to handle all the pending uh, uh, purchases into your app for an example if a user if they purchase a subscription into your app then the app it closes right it automatically closes without finalizing the purchase then when the user reopen the app again then they go to the subscription activity this one is going to be on resume then it's going to check all the pending uh, subscriptions then and try to resolve and verify all the purchases right then under verify purchases what is going to happen is going to receive a purchase right it's going to receive a purchase as a parameter then it's going to acknowledge that purchase then we show a, 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 a toast the toast message that this subscription is activated then we see we are using a shared preference to change from zero to one meaning one it's gonna be um, a, a premium user then zero it's a non premium user so before we fix these errors we need to add two more files inside our project so we need the adapter as well as the interface to handle the clicks on our item right so all these two files they are available on our repository so you can just go to under adapters you will see the adapter there which is this one file you need to copy it into your adapters folder inside your project if you don't have one you can right click into your package name then create new go to package then name it adapters then go inside the adapters paste that file right don't worry about this because we need to add this um, interface next package which is the folder go back and copy your interface file paste it there then now the error is gone now so now to fix this related problem we need to go to our activity have over to this adapter import this file then now to get rid of this error we need to scroll up 
uh, write product detail adapter name it adapter like that so if you want to name this into something different it's total up to you but make sure you come here you also give it the same name right so now we are done inputting these two files into our projects right so now this interface we need to implement it into our subscription activity go to the end of the class after extends then write implements then just write the class name recyclia viewer interface this is the class name it's this one you can just come and copy it here and paste it there right so now uh, after implementing this you will notice that there will be an error um, of this on item click so for an example if you go up then you can see something like this so you need to implement methods then select the first one then okay then now this item click this item click it, it's the one that it handles all the clicks here if you click this uh, seven days product then it comes to this um, item click then it goes to the specific item according to this position right so inside of this item click we need to call our launch purchase flow method then our launch purchase flow method it's receiving a product details as a pyramid where do we get the product details is inside the list of product details right it's inside of the product details list then now we need to say get item at the given index right so for this one it's index 0 index 1 index 2 so for index 0 it's going to open um, these monthly uh, products for the user to purchase so this is what we are supposed to do then now we are done with our project so now into our restore button as you can see there is a restore button there so you can just uncomment this line restore button remove that so you can just import this class okay this restore purchases is the same as the one on our splash click. whenever a user opens our app this method check subscription is going to like be triggered right so this method is going to check whether the user still have a, a subscription or not it's the same method as this one right here so what you need to do is just go to the button and call it on the main activity right here just uncomment this then now it's called when you click this button it's going to restore all the purchases back to the user right so now it's time to test this application okay so now when i click subscriptions it's going to load all subscriptions into my app as you can see the last one is the fourth one right so I just need to click that as you can see there is a price there then there's also a price of this one and that one right so for an example let me just purchase this one so now I try to restore restore button it's working so when i go back to the app then now i am a subscriber as you can see there on the text view when i go back and i try to purchase that subscription then i get an error all right all right thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please comment and like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about subscriptions and i will keep this content updated keep an eye on our 
repository this one repository is for everyone to use it up there i will keep it updated no matter what thank you